So one of the most common complaints that we hear of in the clinic is the formation of jowls. And jowls um, are caused by lots of different things and there's various ways that we can um, approach it to improve it. Um, one of the most effective ways can be treating the chin area. So as we're getting older, the entire facial skeleton is gradually being reabsorbed. So the size of the mandible, which is your jawbone, becomes smaller with age. And at the chin, it becomes vertically shorter. So if you imagine there is now less bone under the jaw than there would have been when Dee was younger, there is less structural support for the soft tissues. And so, the ration, that, so that's the rationale for restoring volume to the chin. Now what we don't want to do is give Dee a big masculine chin. That wouldn't be a good look. But what we want to do is restore the vertical dimension to the chin. The anterior projection, i.e. the amount that the chin pokes out by, is... That's not a good way of saying it. The projection of the chin, which is how far forward the chin comes, is absolutely adequate in these case, so we don't need to bring that any further forward. But we do need to restore the vertical dimension under here. And she's also lost quite a lot of volume in the lower lip. Now you might not think of this part as the lower lip, but this end, everything between this red part here, which we call the vermilion, down to the chin, is also the lower lip. So this is the white part of the lower lip, which has lost a lot of volume as well. So we're going to restore some volume under here, on both sides of the chin, into the white part of the lip, and that's going to give us a really nice um, start of an improvement to the, uh, to the jowl area. Okay, just turn slightly that way, thank you. So, first we are restoring the vertical dimension to the chin to treat the jowls. And we have done that now on the right. And just by restoring that vertical dimension on the right, you can see that this looks nice and smooth, whereas that side still looks dented and jowly, okay? So next, now that I've restored the vertical dimension, I'm going to restore the white part of the lip here, and then we'll see the full effect on this side, okay? Right now we have um, corrected this side of the chin and we can see that that's helped to make this area look a little less jowly compared with this side. So now we're going to progress and do the same on the other side. This is looking good. Yeah. Yes. Can you sit forward for a second, please? I can have a wee lie back again, please. Thank you. And just turn slightly. Building up the lip a little bit more. So we've already added quite a bit to the chin. We've added about four mils so far, but I'm still not quite happy with how the white part of the lower lip is looking. So I'm going to add another mil just in here because that's really going to help us support the lower lip and reduce the appearance of drooping in the lower face. And then we're just going to do a last little trick to just lift the corner of the mouth to retouch more. So, have a look at that. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely incredible. I can't believe it. Look at the jowls. Wow. Aren't they quite... Unreal. Amazing. Good. Thank you so much.